blocks south and another era in time stands one of Philadelphia's most familiar sites, City Hall. It officially opened in 1901, but the foundations of the building were laid 30 years earlier. Today, the basement of City Hall, extending under the entire four-acre site of the building, is a time capsule of Victorian Philadelphia. This is the old dynamo room here. Wow. As you can see, they, they spent a lot of time here. What happened? What went on in this room, George? This is where they generated most of the power, some of the electricity, some of your heating. One of the things I see that's really interesting about this room, George, is it's, it's not like a, a standard basement room. And even the columns right. seem to have some design element to them where the flanges come out around the sides and they sort of pinch together. If we take a look at this one right behind us over right. here, we can see how these columns come out and they're riveted, but it has this nice flange exactly. on the end. Exactly, and you'll find that throughout the building. And this is just as articulate as the old dynamo room. It's and awfully noisy in here. Well, that's because we have a lot of compressors going right now. Mm -hmm. And also one of the main boilers are here to heat up the hot water, so or domestic hot water. Besides all this and fabulous mechanical works here, this is really stunning work that reflects a very high level of craftsmanship yes, back at that time. As you look around up above, we can see this gorgeous cast iron structural work all around the periphery of the room. If you look at the, the beams, these arch beams that they have going across here, coming off the top part of the apron, how intricate they are cut out with the designs and everything in there. You don't have that anymore. What you have in, in, in new construction today, you just have a piece of I beam that's going across there. So it almost looks to me, it, uh, it's very um, reminiscent of this being like a church almost. This kind of very high archwork with the uh, with the polished glazed tile. Yeah. Now this is stuff that that people just won't get a chance to see. The everyday uh, no, city dweller will not get to see this. No. Only the folks that work here in the basement Absolutely. get to see this gorgeous work. And I think they take that for granted. I mean, you just come into the building and you do your job. I mean, just to look around. But to take in this, this is just a magnificent the way they built this building. Oh, George, this is some room. It's been about 15 years since I've been in this room. This is the uh, steam generator that's in this part of the, came from part of the dynamo room. This is an incredible piece of equipment here. It's, uh, it looks like it's about 10, 12 feet long and about uh, three feet wide. And it's got all these big pipes coming off the sides of it. It looks like Correct. this hasn't been used in a really long time. Derek, as you can see, this, this is part of the turret and the foundation to carry it, mm -hmm. and it works its way all the way around. So this is really the base of the tower that goes up in the courtyard. Yes, it is. Wow. And also, if you look closely, you'll see the ornate tile that goes here. And this that is a circular. Really is amazing. And it's a circular staircase that goes all the way up to the seventh level. It hasn't been used in years. We used to bring the prisoners in here and take them up to the holding cells that were up on the seventh floor. And right now, it's been abandoned and it's been taken over by police evidence. And as you can see, Derek, I look back in here, and I assume wow. that what they have here is, back in here is the underside or beneath the courtyard. This is really an amazing And I believe tunnel. that at one point in time, that's where the coal was delivered. And here is the underground area that I was referring to, the passageway, right in here. Wow. <laughs> Take a look in here. Where does this go, George? Just take a look down in there. There's a passageway that runs all the way down underneath the floor that we were just looking at. Oh, my goodness. Any idea where that goes, George? Not at all. This is truly stupendous. You know, I never imagined that there was any kind of construction like this underneath City Hall. So, George, what is this enormous device? This is what they used in the 1900s to test the, the strength of the concrete when they poured concrete. Maybe it was for this building when it was being built mm -hmm. or any, any public building in the city. Mm -hmm. And what they would do is they would pour it in this canister. Wow. And the concrete would harden. And then they would put it in this machine to check the strength. So they could uh, pour concrete in this, and that would be, this piston would then be driven by the rest of this machinery exactly. so that the operators could figure out how much stress it would take to make that concrete shaft start to buckle or break. Right. Okay. 
and you would use this weight that's on this to sort of act as the scale for how much pressure you're going to put on this. This shows right. that they could put a pressure on here of 300,000 pounds per square inch, would exactly. you imagine? Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been here for a long time, but this, this room is, I don't know where it leads to. Well, let's take a look and see. What is that? Look at that shaft. That goes to nowhere. Look how far up that goes. I can't it, even see the end of it. It may go to the roof. Wow. Well, if you give me a little light, I'll, I'll head up and see what I can see. This triangular shaped sort of chimney, I cannot see the end of it at all. Right out of sight. At one point in time, it could have been a trash chute. This is truly behind the walls of City Hall. I would have never imagined there'd be anything like this in this building either. This is one of our old records rooms. That's quite a door, George. Yep. Wow. Look at the size of that room. Boy, that's quite a room. This is like a labyrinth down here. There are so many directions in which this goes. What's in here? Well, there's some wills in here, some testimony. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, here's something right here. Uh -huh. You'll have to look at that. My glasses are. <laughs> that's okay. This is uh, to the Register of Wills. Uh, June the 28th, 1866. That's incredible. Look at that. And it uh, looks like it's a record for a tax of $147. Size of this book, huh? Wow, look at the way. That's amazing. So neat. Everything's so yeah. neat and clean. So well done. Beautiful penmanship. And, and look right up here at the top. It says, for this gentleman, the care of a burial plot, just $5. It's amazing that all this is still here. And you know, actually, it's in surprisingly good shape. Yes. Even though it's been here. I guess in this space, this space is nice and dry. Mm -hmm. It's certainly, it's not wet at all. There's very low humidity. The temperature's fairly well controlled. So in fact, this is, helps preserve it. in a sense, a good preservation spot for it down here. With the tour of City Hall, our journey through the subterranean world is complete. And it's one I won't soon forget.